Professional boxing offers no guarantees. Contrary to most elite sport, the people who can make things happen are visible disarmingly so, sometimes. Yet this is not a feature of the boxing promoter's lot that makes them any more accountable for satisfying our desires. The greatest fights are not dependent upon talent, the potential for sporting excellence are deserving alone. Timing, and the possibility of a considerable purse, outweigh all else no more so than when we consider top-ranking, heavyweight boxes. As Anthony Joshua today considered the identity of his next opponent, one element of the negotiation process was clear what fight he took on would rest entirely with his promoter, Eddie Hearn, and the deal he could secure. Confidently claiming that he is serious about becoming undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the man currently in possession of the WBA, IBF and EBO world titles is naturally focusing his attention on the two men in possession of the missing belts, Deontay Wilder WBC and Joseph Parker WBO. Stressing that Parker is his preferred option, there was nonetheless a sense that Joshua felt compelled to address Wilder's accusation that the British boxer is running scared no offers have been made from there or our side we had a mandatory in place and now we're taking the time and effort to get the ball rolling. There's one thing talking and acting, but negotiations don't happen over social media. We're now making the moves forward. Seeing that Vilda's latest inflammatory comments came directly after his brutal dismantling of Burma and Stiven on Saturday night, Joshua's disparaging nod toward those conducting the dealings over social media suggests an awareness of Tyson Fury's slow but certainly vocal road to recovery. Determined that any potential bout between he and the 390 fighter from Alabama will be conducted on his own terms, it is a position Joshua feels somewhat forced to take it's no problem if Wilder wants to fight early next year, but no offers have been made to me. There has never been an offer. Everyone says they want to fight, and then sits back and waits for me to do all the homework. Having already faced one giant of the heavyweight division albeit one who had already been shrunken by fury in Vladimir Klitschko, Joshua and Hearn will be aware that there are only so many more Carlos stack arms to fight before widespread interest begins waning. With British boxing capturing the imagination in a way at HASNT since the 1990s, Joshua's next series of fights could well define his legacy as one of the outstanding heavyweights of his generation. Having turned 28 in October, Wilder is already four years and 19 fights further down the line both men are now suitably primed to face one another. See also watch Deontay Wilder aggressively dismantles opponent with first round co.